Applicability to coastal region, it would appear today that there be no semantic ambiguity about the which means of the world coastal. The coastal zone is the band of dry land and adjacent ocean space, water, and submerged land in which land ecology and use immediately affect ocean space ecology, and vice versa. The coastal zone is a band of variable with which borders the continent. Geographically, the landward boundary of the coastal zone is necessarily vague. The seaward boundary has been defined as extent to which man's land-based activities have measurable influence of the chemistry of the water or and the ecology of the marine life. In other words, it should be well established in all languages that the coastal zone is both land and sea, and that its boundary extends rather widely on each side of the coastline interface. This forceful split between scientific discipline and scientific institution is aggravated in practically all countries of the world by an equal split between responsible administrations that jurisdiction of land authorities stopping somewhere in between high and low tide mark and the maritime authorities denying any competence to every person else over the sea realm. Coastal conservation concern assuming that the political will exist for their establishment. Coastal biosphere reserves should respond in the first place to the widespread and increasing conservation concern for coastal ecosystems. Considering first, conservation in the land side, the application of the concept to conservation in coastal area has off direction to embody the customary standards recalled earlier including delineation of buffer sector and protection of core area. The major obstacle to conservation in terrestrial coastal areas arising all over the world and particularly in those with dense human population and long histories is the high economic value of coastal land where a large variety of very profitable human activities tend to concentrate including urbanization, industry energy, tourism, and all forms of transport is the excessive financial price to coastal land. It is well acknowledged for occasion that protection of inland lagoons and different coastal wetlands which are all too often viewed as areas for discharging waste or for masking with concrete is ambitious challenge. The water is aggravated by using the favor to shield the marine thing of coastal biosphere reserve from what takes neighborhood on land. As river discharge and influence came from there and as human activities which disturb marine ecosystems are usually land-based. Proper delineation of coastal conservation, nearby discharge protection of the marine base from what comes from the land. This consistential has been too often unforgotten in the curve of marine park and of some biosphere reserve. This implies in particularly enough consideration of what takes location in entire watersheds, even although immediately it is thought to manipulate sediment and air pollution attaining the sea from large scale watersheds. When we come to conservation in the marine phase of the shoreline as such, we are confronted with the dynamic system having two most essential interacting components, the water column and the sea bottom, with the exemption of ordinary right of fishermen and similar groups, jurisdiction over the sea bottom, and definition of authorities or ownership is now not truly clear. It would appear, however, that the nation of core areas or buffer zone on the sea backside ought to be made by the country extensive authorities involved in order to make sure some diploma of conservation of ethnic life. One technique ought to consist of discovering out a brilliant diff for the nation of buffer zone. The definition of core areas inner the buffer neighborhood ought to to in thinking follow. Even though these core areas would per change also have to modify with time due to the fact 
of geomorphological adjustment as a genuine enforcement of safety may also moreover bring up serious difficulties. Like the Marine France, core areas exist in reality only due to the truth of specially challenging sea, the cutting rocky bottom and the sturdy currents, and any human approach in enormously large segment of the biosphere reserve. The elimination of the sea bottom has, however, no have an effect in the water column, which is no longer steady elements and is kingdom of affair to exterior influence from current, ties, and unique movement. This would make it hard to outline huge core areas and buffer zones, defending pelagic life. The situation is same to some extent to what happened in terrestrial nearby the region atmospheric or river burn air air pollution cannot be averted from coming into into reserve nevertheless from the point of view of right managed fishing activities the questioning of transition area on the sea seaward side which would be definitely analogous in reason to terrestrial transition area can also moreover have true value so biosphere reserve in concern of concentration, biosphere reserve can be translated in zonation pattern for coastal areas provided zonation extended both on land and on the sea bottom. The water column being subject to minimal disturbing influence of human origin. At the same time, however, the protection of the interface demands spatial continuity of the same point between terrestrial and marine core areas criterion which in our view should be given very high importance for establishment and evaluation of coastal biosphere reserves. The coastal development concern, conversely, the development concern is coastal biosphere reserve will be marked by specific feature of coastal regions. This relate broadly to three major types of human occupation and use, which can be characterized as follows. First, the continuing presence in the many part of the world, particularly but not exclusively in developing countries of traditional coastal culture, making use of marine resources for their daily life, like fish, mollusks, corals, mangroves, seaweeds, local navigation, and etc. Second, the rapid development of international and or domestic coastal tourism, beaches, hotel, marinas, second homes, scuba diving, sport fishing, and high demands for fish, fresh water, an important product, etc. Third, the increasing concentration of population in many coastal areas of development and develop, developing countries alike, accompanied by rapid urbanization, and development of agriculture, industry, trade, and transport, all competing for land use on limiting linear shape coastal space. Coastal biosphere will naturally have to be set up the place there is nevertheless something to protect or where restoration can take place. They will have to play their improvement role as properly as their conservation function from this purpose. This fundamental development rule will as a consequence be directed in the direction of meeting the common wishes of the coastal population which have been mentioned underneath the first kind of occupation. This implies safety and sustainable management of both their at their terrestrial and their marine resources base, especially regular fishing. It additionally relates to the rule and effect of tourism, the second kind of human occupation which was referred to above. The coastal biosphere reserve has to promote forms of tourism which gain concretely the nearby population and which are compatible with the maintenance of their cultural identity as nicely of direction as the conservation of objective which have been established and that in precise do not disturb the dynamics of coastline. 
The biosphere is made up of the part of Earth where life exists. The biosphere extends from the deepest root system of trees, the dark environment of ocean trenches, to lush rainforests and high comp high mountains. The biosphere consists of three components: one lithosphere, two atmosphere, and the three hydrosphere. However, not all of them have living things thriving or inhabiting them. The portion where life is found and sustained are the only ones regarded as part of the biosphere. Scientists describe the earth in terms of spheres. The solid surface layer of the earth is the lithosphere. The atmosphere is the layer, layer of air that reaches above the lithosphere. The earth water in the surface, in the ground, and in the air makes up the hydrosphere. So, for example, the atmosphere mixes down into the other spheres and releases precipitates. The hydrosphere overlaps onto land surface and water vapor rises up into the atmosphere. The biosphere reaches up into the atmosphere, down into soil and rock, and, and throughout the ocean, exchanging gases, water, and nutrients. Since life exists in the ground, in the air and in the water, the biosphere overlaps all other spheres. So the origin of biosphere. The biosphere has existed about 3.5 billion years. The biosphere earliest life forms called prokaryotes survive without oxygen. Ancient prokaryotes include single cells organisms such as bacteria and archaea. Some prokaryotes develop a unique chemical process. They were able to use sunlight to make simple sugars and oxygen out of the water and carbon dioxide, a process called photosynthesis. These photosynthesis organisms were so plentiful that they changed the biosphere over a long period of time. The atmosphere developed a mix of oxygen and other gases that could sustain new form of life. The biosphere benefits from this food web. The remains of dead plants and animals release nutrients into the soil and ocean. These nutrients are reabsorbed by growing plants. This exchange of food and energy makes the biosphere a self-supporting and self-regulating system. The biosphere is sometimes thought of as as the large ecosystem as complex community of living and non-living things functioning as a single unit. More often, however, the biosphere is described as having many ecosystems. Biosphere Reserve Paper play, People play an important part in maintaining the flow of energy in the biosphere. Sometimes, however, people disrupt the flow. For example, in the atmosphere, oxygen levels decrease, decrease and carbon dioxide levels increase. When people clear forests, or burn fossil fuels such as coal and oil. All spill and industrial waste threaten life in the hydrosphere. The future of the biosphere will depend on how people interact with other living things within the zone of life.